In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an animated SVG background to an image block on Squarespace. This is going to work on version 7.0 or 7.1, and it's perfect if you want to have an image like this with an animated background like this. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know about Squarespace image blocks is they come in a couple different styles. You have inline, which is just a regular picture that gets added to a page. But then you have these styled options that let you add a title, a subtitle, and a button. Um, you can see here we've got image poster, image card, image overlap, image collage, and image stack. This tutorial will actually work for any one of these as well. Um, a couple things to keep in mind with the image that you use, though. You could upload a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG but you're not gonna be able to see through the image to the background that we've animated unless there's a missing background to your image. So that means we need a PNG image with a lot of background missing or all of it missing. That means you could upload a completely empty PNG or you could be like me, jump into Photoshop or any similar program and just remove the background to an image like this. Whatever you want to do for your design is up to you, but you're going to want to use a PNG with a lot of background missing. Then just jump into your Squarespace site, upload that image to any image block. It's totally up to you which style you want to use, and you're ready for the next step. So now we're ready to add the animated SVG file to Squarespace. To add an animated SVG file, you're going to want to first go over to Pages, scroll to the bottom where it says Not Linked, click the plus sign, click link, click the gear icon, click file, and now we're ready to upload. You can even actually just drag the file right over here to upload file. So I'm gonna do that and just drag that right there. Perfect. Once you've added it here, you actually need to click on it and click save. Highlight the link that is generated right here. Highlight that and copy it to your clipboard. You're gonna need to actually go and add that to your address bar. Erase everything, including the config option in that URL and the forward slash and paste in that new link. This is gonna give you the exact file address that Squarespace has for this animated file. If your file is animating like this, um, you've done it right. So go ahead and copy this and just go and put it somewhere off to the side because we're going to need this full URL shortly. All right. I've just done that. I can click back and get back into my Squarespace website now. So just to recap what we've done, we have uploaded our image block with lots of missing background because it's a PNG image. We've also uploaded our animated SVG file. Now we're ready to code. Let's go back to the design tab and click custom CSS. And let's go and copy and paste the code that's included in the article. Copy and paste. Cool. Okay, so the next step we have here is we need to do a couple of replacing things. We need to replace this block ID. The block ID is the ID of the image block you want to add this to. You only need to include a block ID if you want the animated background attached to one image. If you want this to be a blanket rule for all image posters, for example, you can actually just delete the block ID part. But for this tutorial, I'm going to include that in so you get a feel for how to add an animated background to just one image block at a time. So we're going to need to replace the block ID. We'll also need to replace the actual image class because as you are aware, there are several different styles of image blocks. Each one has its own class. So make sure you're targeting the correct class as well. And then you can see here, we will also need to replace the SVG file. So let's actually uh, work our way down. Let's start with grabbing the block ID. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my little tool here that pulls the block ID. This is a free Google Chrome extension. I've included that in the article. Save yourself some time and just use this to grab that block ID. Highlight this and paste it in. Uh, the next thing we need to do is target that image poster itself. We need to get the image poster class. In the article, you can see that class. So we're gonna copy this and we are gonna paste that in as well. Great. 
Last thing we need to do is we need to add the URL right here. I've saved that off to the side, so I will copy that and paste that in. So now we have this animated background to our image block. If I remove the block ID like that, this new rule, if I were to click save, would say, add this animated background to every single image block styled as a poster. So the image block is helpful if you, again, want to keep it focused to just one at a time. Let's say I wanted to add this animated background to this image card over here. That means I would need to update my block ID as well as the class you can see right here. So let's do that. Let's use our tool, get the new block ID, replace, and now let's go replace the class. In our case, this is the card. So we'll paste that in. And now our animated background is applied to the image card itself. So that is how you add an animated SVG background to an image block on Squarespace. Thanks for watching.